What's up guys, R13 here and welcome to another Gunpla review. So, today we're gonna be reviewing the RX7801 North American version or North American type. So, I've already reviewed the Gundam FSD here and did a side-by-side -side comparison, but it's good to be fair to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the original local type, which I actually have it here right now, and the North American version. Now, I will admit it, I actually like the darker color scheme and with the added decals also, the orange type, it actually gives more feature. And um, I'm looking forward to actually reviewing this in full detail. So as you guys can see, there's actually a different uh, color pattern here, dark scheme color pattern. And uh, the only lighter color that you guys can see are in the waist area, the hand, part of the shield, and the joints. But the rest got this um, dark brown color scheme. Correct me if I'm wrong, so leave it in the comment section over there. So as you guys can see, there's not a whole lot of difference between the two here, except for the color pattern. But um, the changes that uh, they have made is actually in the backpack area, which I'm going to show you guys right away here. So the original local type actually get the water pack. And the North American version is actually made for a ground type battle and got more mobility and they even added a cannon and a beam saver attached to it and you can even swap the parts which I'm actually gonna show you guys here right away so it's actually quite easy same feature as the FSD or vice versa so all you have to do is pull this piece out and then just put the attachment here uh, for to put in another beam saver if you want to or you can actually add your own custom parts for the backpack which is actually quite nice now some of uh, the features that uh, this unit actually retained is this side here the left forearm where you can install your beam savers so the only difference between the original and the North American version is the color scheme and the backpack and the best part is you can actually remove this easily and replace it with a back with a uh, pack now I'm gonna show you guys the extra parts here now you got your basic beam saver reddish color or pinkish color and then you got your beam saver hand here and as you guys can see this uh, guy actually got the same as uh, the same machine gun as the original and uh, you got your water pack yeah and all you have to do is just install that easily and you got your dark uh, version of the original local type yeah and then you do have an extra chess uh, piece here and you just have an extra part and then you got your other parts um, conversion parts to actually install your uh, machine gun and your shield here which I'm actually going to show you guys right away. So this is actually going to be very simple. There's some slots here in the shield. You place that there. There's a slot here. And in your backpack here, there's two slots in the sides. So you can actually put it whichever way you want. And there you go. And then for the machine gun here, it's actually quite stable which is quite nice and then you got the slot here this there's indentation and then you just push that right in there easily now it actually doesn't match up properly but uh, it's actually quite simple there you go it's actually quite nice something different uh, for the local type variant now the next part is the mobility test which is actually very very simple so let's remove this piece here it actually got the same mobility as a local type but I will still show you guys regardless now for the thrusters you get three thrusters here 
Oops, that was close. I kind of took out the fence there for a second, but uh, let's get, keep on going. The thrusters here moves, except for the sides here. And then you can partially move these pieces here, which is actually quite nice. Yeah. And then for, where's that cannon? Okay. And now for the cannon here. Now, the cannon actually, this piece moves and you can actually switch this up and install this on the other side. Really, really nice. And then for the next part is uh, the arms here. Now, the shoulder piece Got good mobility there. It's actually a ball joint here. And then double joint uh, elbows, which is actually quite nice. And as for my review of the FSD, you can actually do a boxer stance if you want to, which is actually quite nice. Yeah. Now it actually does have some limitation. I'm actually trying to do a southpaw style. And the sho uh, the shoulder piece is actually kind of is getting in the way. So you do have some limitations there. Now for the torso area. Now re let's remove this backpack here very easy now the torso you actually got some uh, good range here now you just got to be very very careful and then let's pull this piece out as you guys can see in the waist area here there's actually an indentation where the polycap is so that's what's uh, keeping uh, the waist from doing a 360 degree rotation you can customize that to do certain angle if you want to you can just uh, shave that piece away. Hopefully it doesn't affect the piece. And now for the waist area. The waist. You get some uh, movable parts here. Now there's this uh, piece here that I don't know its uh, purpose. It looks like you can actually install uh, for the side skirt here. Maybe an ammo pack P Bandai. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah. Maybe there's some purpose for this side here, which I'm looking forward to in the near future what this purpose is, or it's just a design. Now for the waist here, like uh, the front skirt, um, it, this piece actually moves, which is actually quite nice. Now the back skirt doesn't move, but uh, got some designs. Now for the legs here, as you guys can see, there's a um, slot there for your action base. And uh, rather than a poly cap, um, let's just remove this piece here. It's actually a connector between the two, so it actually gives you more range and mobility. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice. And now for the legs, double joint also, which is quite nice. It can even do a high kick. And installation is actually quite easy. Er. <laughs> Yeah, and for the feet here, now I've already mentioned this in uh, my reviews of the other variants. Now the ankle guard here is integrated into the leg, that's the downside to it. And um, the feet actually get some good motion. But um, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just, that's how far it can go on the side. Can't even go back. This okay. Yeah. And now let's talk about the nubs here. So the nubs is actually not that bad. The main issue for the nubs is actually mainly focus on the feet here, as you guys can see there, and the leg area here. The back of the leg. Now sanding is actually you can uh, just do some sanding and use some uh and still uh, the seam lines also but overall it actually is quite nice that the Bandai did try their best in hiding the seam lines now for the headpiece here you get the seam lines on the headpiece that you can seal up and um, 
yeah practically that's it and now let's talk about uh, while well, I'm actually putting the forehead back here the fin now it's actually quite nice that even without the decals it actually already got some good detail now one thing is um, that I like about the North American version is um, the visor here covering the eyes it actually gives out a different look for the Gundam variants um, I think I believe this is uh, the first um, Gundam that I've seen with a visor correct me if I'm wrong so again leave it in the comment section below if there's other Gundams out there that actually have a visor to protect its eyes and then um, it actually got the RX-78 feature which is actually quite nice so um, now the question is is this worth getting actually yes it is I actually like it uh, due to the color scheme and uh, like the pattern and uh, the decal sheet it's orange so adding the details adding uh, the decal sheet will give this out give this unit more details even without painting it but my suggestion is suggestion after you place the decals is to do some um, spray this with a matte finish and it is gonna look much better yes and now for the shield for you got your basic shield here which is actually quite nice and easy installation then you got your machine gun same feature as the local type so now the thing is is you're practically just paying for the color uh, scheme the backpack and uh, the cannon that's it practically but overall it is actually nice worth getting for 2000 yen and again price varies depending on location on website so yeah you guys can get it if you want to um, you can do some customization very easily um, minor, minor mods um, without changing the body itself because you get some slots here that you can actually put mechanical arms added weaponries you can even upgrade the um, cannon if you want to and there's a possibility also that you can actually install a cannon on the forearm which I'm actually just give me a second here okay so I just grabbed an item and this is actually the cannon for the ball here that I got and here's a little bit of a tidbit here you can actually now this is actually loose but uh, you get another form of weapon so I'm just showing you guys the potential of uh, customization and uh, for the side here this one here kind of fits a little bit but you'll have to do a little bit of work now I got my FSD on the side here or you can get uh, an FSD or another local type with the cannon and you can just have your own version of uh, the North American version with two cannons on the backpack <laughs> yeah as you guys can see there oops now there's one downside to the cannon here it's a little bit loose it might fall off but it's actually quite tight it's not gonna fall off but when you move it it will definitely fall off I actually just pulled that out easily and there you have it two cannons <laughs> yeah okay now let's get back to the ending here it is worth getting highly advisable you can do some customization you can actually remove the chest piece here very easily and replace it now um, for better explanation I'm leaving the link in the description below for my review of the FSD and right over here so you guys can check that out better explaining um, why you can swap out the parts okay so that is all I got for today guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and Click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. This is R13. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. Signing out for this vid. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. I need some more coffee.